going on with, with them. And uh, there's one issue I'm looking forward to getting an update on, and I'm going to let John kind of uh, talk about that as he sits down and joins us. John, welcome to the Morning Drive. Uh, I know you got a lot going on, so let's get started. Hi, Steve. Hey. Thanks for having me. 10 4. You want to ask about that jury trial? I, I do. I'm interested in it. Tell us what's going on. Well, there's actually three jury trials going on at Federal Courthouse on Patterson Street right here in Valdosta. Right. And, um, should I wear this? No, you're good. You don't okay. Good. And this is about federal eminent domain right. for the Sable Trail Pipeline. That's right. Now, they already built the pipeline. Yeah. But for these landowners, they sued them for the eminent domain. Right. They do not have a written agreement with the landowners. They have not paid them a cent, but they already built the pipeline. Does that sound right to you? Just went right through their land, uh, That's right. right through their land, mm -hmm. um, without a settlement, without any uh, any, mm -hmm. any conclusion there. And, That's right. Uh, no, that don't sound right. Right. So <laughs> they're suing them, and uh, I'm going to talk mostly about one of them because the Bell family are members of Walls Watershed Coalition. Okay. Swanee Riverkeeper is a project and staff member on the staff of Walls Watershed Coalition. The Bell family uh, owns land over in Mitchell County. Mm -hmm. Their mama gave it to the Bell brothers, Bob and Jeb, mm -hmm. for them to build home sites on. Sure. And then Sable Trail came and ran right through with their pipeline. Mm -hmm. Now, Sable Trail keeps arguing, well, there's an existing pipeline on there, so they're natural gas, but that thing's like nine or 10 inches. I think it's actually 10 inches, and then they built a second one, 12 inches. But this one is 36 big inches. Big pipe, yeah. I saw, I've, I saw the pipe as many people did when it was going in. Big, big, big pipe. Yeah. Right, this is the same one that goes through Lyons County, from starting by coming under our Withlacoochee River, mm -hmm. between here and Quitman, mm -hmm. where I discovered flying over in a small plane with just a little pilot hole, they leaked drilling mud up into the river, mm. which they told us in a case that we had in Florida would never happen. One year later, it happened. Yeah. So um, they had a second appraiser show up yesterday, and this guy said um, that uh, he figured they were taking 90% of the rights of the easement acreage. Goodness. The first appraiser said 85%. Okay, you know, whichever it is. Um, they're offering a one-time payment when the pipeline is going to pump a billion cubic feet a day indefinitely, planning to profit on it forever. Mm. I mean, does that sound fair? Not me, though. No. No. I mean, and that's a big problem. I mean, the, the pipelines made sense probably 50 years ago when that sort of natural gas pipeline was put in. Mm -hmm. I got two of those things on my property. Yeah. Okay, but even five years ago when Sable Trail was starting and planning, already solar power was cheaper. Mm -hmm. In 2014, I figured according to Sable Trail's own figures, that on the acreage of just their permanent easement of this pipeline, they could produce just as much electricity from solar panels. Mm -hmm. So the only real reason for this pipeline is pure and simple corporate greed. Mm -hmm. And you know, even the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission yeah, they've pretty much brushed aside every objection except the pipeline has customers. Mm -hmm. That's all that counts. Yeah. Oh, and these customers are not in Georgia. This pipeline is not for Georgia. That's right. It passes through Georgia. That's right. Um, now the court or the jury, the jury has the case right now. Are they? Are they? The jury's been sitting there every day since Monday. Wow. And they're gonna get the decision today. Okay. There's apparently a couple more witnesses I'm going to go down there after this, and then the jury is going to be handed each of the cases. Okay. It, it's a really weird setup. It's the same jury trying three cases. Hmm. Simultaneously? Yes. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't really understand how this is supposed to work. The, I assume the judge does. It was his idea. <laughs> well, we would hope so, yeah. 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 So, um, you know, I, you know that, um, and yesterday they also had uh, the father of the boys, James Bell, testify mm -hmm. that you know his wife, whom um, Bob Bell wheeled in in, the wheel, in her wheelchair while he was talking, right. his wife gave that land to the boys so that they would have home sites. Sure. And uh, you know, when asked, you know, are they going to build on it? He says, of course not. Yeah. You know, he wouldn't want his grandchildren raised anywhere near that thing. Yeah. They're not permitted to talk about things like safety. But you know the minimum blast radius for that thing is a thousand feet. Yeah, yeah. And you know if it catches woods on fire, who knows? Uh, Thirty-six inch pipe. I mean, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd say thousand thousand foot blast zone would be a very conservative uh, mm -hmm. estimate. You know? mm -hmm. um, 
as far as the suit, what are the Bells hoping to get from this? I mean, they're not going to stop the pipeline from going in, and then I don't think the ruling will be to dig it up or reroute it, uh, or is that in play, or is it just simply the monetary settlement that's at stake? The judge has uh, said uh, that this is simply about how much they're going to be taking. Okay. Right. Now, um, an interesting related to that is uh, the defense attorney, Jonathan Waters, has gotten uh, this latest appraiser to reveal that he personally has been and will be by the end of this paid two to three times what they're offering for the easement. That's just one appraiser. They had another appraiser testify yesterday and they got the right-of-way manager, they've got a timber appraiser, and nobody's asked how much the four attorneys are being paid. Mm -hmm. So it's not as if the pipeline company doesn't have money, they just don't want to pay more than the minimum they can get away with. That's right, that's right. It's, it's, uh, this is an interesting case, and I hope that you'll email me the results. Uh, when I will. Find out and uh, let me make sure I get, you know, get that up to listeners and we'll get you back in here. Um, there's other things going on with the Walls Watershed Shed Coalition, which is uh, Swanee Riverkeeper. Um, what do y'all got going on that we need to know about? Uh, sure, we got a couple of water trails, the Lapaha River water trail. Um, we got, uh, we're doing up a brochure, we got online web pages and map. And Sunday we did a clean up at, excuse me, Shibagi Boat Ramp in Barron County. That's at US 82 and paddled upstream. That went really well. Uh -huh. And um, not even on this list, I handed you Tuesday we did a paddle at Banks Lake over oh, here. That's always nice. And Banks yeah. Lake's a treasure, man. It's it a is. Beautiful, beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Some cypress trees, boy. I never get tired of looking for them. It's like a mini Okie Pinocchi. It's actually yeah, it run is. by the same people. Oh, yeah, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. National Wildlife Refuge. That's right. Yeah. And this Saturday, we're paddling another leg of what we call the Alapaha Quest. We're doing the whole Alapaha River Water Trail section by section. The mm -hmm. current plan is to start at Naylor Boat Ramp, which is the only one in Lowndes County. Mm -hmm. I call it Naylor Boat Ramp, even though the county hasn't built it yet. But, but hey, Bill uh, Bill Sarr was in here Tuesday, and mm -hmm. they they actually mobilized equipment out there as equipment out there as we speak to pour that thing. They actually pour it, and then they push it into place into the river. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, that they're so working that, on it. They're actually on it now. So hopefully, that's been an ongoing question here on the morning drive. When is the boat ramp coming? So I think we're right there at it now. So it's yeah, close. that was Fall Seven, wasn't that? Twenty thirteen. That's right. That's right. <laughs> been a while, but uh, here we are. But they have bought the the park area from Dr. Acre, and we can put in there. So that's yeah. where we're going to start. Go down to May Day in Eccles County. Yes, Feel free to come along. We are watching uh, Hurricane Florence, but yeah. it looks like it's making landfall today in Wilmington, North Carolina. That's right. Okay, and uh, a, a pretty big thing is um, downstream, everybody gets upset when there's anything in the river, and they always think it's Valdosta. <laughs> I know, we get the blame for it, that's right. As I said to Bill Slaughter and the rest of the Lowndes County Commission in their meeting Tuesday, you, know, you guys may think that's okay, but yeah. it ain't always no, Valdosta. It's, it's uh, Steve Stalvey, their utilities director, uh, gave me that same day a list of recent Lowndes County spills, and on July 6th they had a spill near the prison, for example. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't very big, but nonetheless, you know, Lowndes County does spill, as does Quitman and Tifton. It's getting mm. kind of notorious for it. Yeah, I've heard of that. Plus, there's something in the river upstream from Valdosta. We want to find out where it's coming in, what it is, so maybe we can do something about it. Right. So Sunday, we're doing a water quality testing training at the South Georgia Regional Commission office on Savannah Avenue. Mm -hmm. That's across Savannah Avenue from the uh, City Fire Department. Gotcha. Y'all come if you want to, it's only six <laughs> hours. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then we have the Withacoochee and Little River Water Trail. And uh, you, you probably recall in the spring we have the big Little River Paddle Race yeah, at Reed Bank State yeah, Park. That's right. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll come paddle with us, you never know. I need to bring my kids with me too. We all have kayaks now, so good, good. We'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get more involved in that. Our youngest paddler last time on that one was four years old. Four? Well, four. Got, my youngest would be nine by the time uh, mm -hmm. we would be ready to go to some point. Well, there you go. Yeah. And we're starting a new fall paddle race. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our members, Bobby McKenzie, newly on our board, he's actually serving at uh, Moody Air Force Base. Okay. He's uh, organizing a paddle we're calling the Walls Boomerang. Because we're starting at Langdale Park, just outside of Valdosta, off of US 41, North Valdosta Road. And going down to just past the Y on Gorn Road and back up. That's cool. 
Mm -hmm. And recently we discovered there is public access right near the Y. Right. If you look in their entrance there, you'll notice the big lift station about off yeah. the bill. Yeah. Below the left side of the fence there, that is a public strip of land owned by Lowndes County. It goes all the way down the river. So you can go right in there. That's that's interesting to know. Verified by uh, Lowndes County Engineering. That is yeah. public access. Good deal. Good to know. Okay. So if you don't want to go all, all the way down and back out, yeah. back up, you can get out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's going to be in the fall before the battle race in the spring. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a kind of a big deal. This uh, Georgia River Network. Mm -hmm. um, of which we're a member, does a thing every year called Paddle Georgia. Right. They have about 300 people. They pick a river and they paddle for a week on it. For a week? 300 mm -hmm. people? That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Five days, yeah. yeah. 300 people. And um, they picked for 2019 our with the Coochie River down to the Suwannee. Okay. So they're going to start at Troopville Landing, which is up the last uh, boat ramp on the Little River just before it gets to the confluence of the Coochie. Right. That's and down below the prison, right here at the yep, that's right. Right prison, okay. Mm -hmm. gotcha. yeah. Yep, you go out 133 shortly before you come to Colquitt County. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like, like y'all got a lot going on uh, already scheduled for 2019. going to be a fun year. That's right. A lot of good stuff there. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, this is a short list. We're doing a more legs of the Alapaha Quest, and we're appearing in a whole bunch of festivals. For example, we'll be at the Hire a Honey Bee. Yeah. I'll probably be dragging the boat behind me in the parade. <laughs> That'll be cool. Mm -hmm. That'll be, get you some exercise. And dragging it like that is not as fun as actually riding in it in the river, though. Oh, I do have wheels. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, make it a little easier. You know. How can, uh, as we wrap up here, John, how can uh, people follow along uh, with what you got going on with Swanee River Keepers and, and uh, the Sable Trail, Walls Watershed Coalition? What's the best way to keep uh, informed? Okay, well, today I'll be putting out a press release, uh, be definitely send it to you, yeah. about what happens with this trial. Right. Uh, FYI, the previous two trials, there was one in June here, and there was one in the Call of Florida a couple of months before mm -hmm. that. And in both cases, the jury's decided five times what you offered Sable That's Trail. Right. That's right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be putting out a press release, and also uh, you can always look on our uh, Facebook page, just look at SwaneeRiverKeeper.org, mm -hmm. O-R-G. Or our um, our uh, blog walls.net wwals.net. We're also on Instagram. We're on Twitter. And um, if you go to our blog, you can sign up on there to get email whenever we blog something. Yeah. yeah. All sorts of ways. Good deal. Well, I appreciate you coming in and taking the time as always. And uh, let us know what happens with the decision. I'll get that out to the audience, and uh, and uh, we'll get you back in here in a few weeks. And uh, Let's make it a regular, you know, thing and uh, keep you in here and keep the people informed of what's going on with the organization. I appreciate you having me on, and after all, nobody wants dirty water. Nobody. We can all agree on that. 105.9 right. WBJ. We'll see you tomorrow. 21 hours. All right.